Hi everyone, welcome to this module on instance configuration, instance pools, and uh, auto scaling. And uh, these are important concepts, um, and so we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about those, and then we'll quickly see them in in action. Uh, we'll also cover these in more details in the level 200 modules. So uh, in the module on computes, if you want to get those extra details, uh, please uh, check out the level 200 module on on compute. So first things first, what is instance configuration? Uh, as the, the graphic shows here, you have a running instance. Uh, you could take, uh, you could create a config out of that. And what it means is the config has the operating system image, has the metadata, of course, the shape, uh, and things like, you know, your Vnix, your, your, your networking configuration, storage, etc. Why would you do this? Uh, well, you would do this uh, because with the config, you create a config, and then it basically becomes a template and you could spin up multiple instances uh, using that template. You could put them in different availability domains. If you have a multi-AD region, you can manage all of them together. So you could stop them, you could start, you could terminate. And then the one big advantage is you could attach it to a load balancer and then this becomes your unit and you work with this as a unit behind a load uh, balancer. Uh, like, so, so as we said, you clone an instance, right? You create a template, save to a configuration files, and then you create standardized baseline instance uh, instances uh, out from this uh, template. Uh, and then you can easily deploy them using CLI, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? The whole idea is automate, automation of the provisioning process, right? So if you have to, uh, in many cases, you have similar instances. Now, to spin up similar in instances, you don't want to, um, to you know, copy the same line of code 10 times, right? That's a bad idea. Uh, you don't want to do that anyways 10 times using CLI or the console. That's again, not a good idea. Uh, so the whole idea of an instance configuration is you templatize the provisioning and then you could spin up multiple instances using, using that uh, configuration. Now instance pool is basically the ability to centrally manage a group of instance workloads that are all configured with a cons consistent configuration. So you create an instance configuration and then you create a pool out of this, right? Um, the idea is, uh, again, uh, if you have a multi-AD region, you could distribute this pool across availability domains uh, and you could scale out instances on demand by increasing the instance size of the pool. So <clears throat> you um, could either scale out or scale in using this concept of instance pool. And if you don't understand it all on the slides, we'll go take a look at the demo, so you'll understand it better. Instance configuration and instance pools are the basis for auto scaling. So what basically do we mean? What do we mean by auto scaling? Auto scaling enables you to automatically adjust the number of compute instances in a pool based on performance metrics such as CPU, or memory thresholds. Today, we, the only policy we support is threshold, and we only support CPU uh, and memory. In future, you know, of course, we'll, more things will be supported, but those are the ones we do we support today. So look at this uh, graphic here, or this picture here. It sort of explains the, the process. So you have an instance pool before scale. You have a minimum size, and you have an initial size, right? You could say my initial size is bigger than my minimum size. That's fine, right? And then you define some scaling rules. So the threshold for CPU greater than 70% add to instances. CPU or memory threshold less than 70% remove to instances, right? So your initial size is two. If your CPU goes beyond 70%, you are adding one plus one instance, right? If it goes less than 70%, you remove two instances, right? So if it's four, you would remove uh, two uh, uh, and so on and so forth, right? And the minimum size is uh, is two in this case or one, so it would go down to one, right? So you could define those scaling policies uh, and then uh, depending on uh, the application you are running or the demand you are seeing, you could, uh, you could auto scale, you could either scale out or scale in. So with that quick introduction on instance configuration, instance pool and auto scaling, let's go and see this in action. Let me jump to the console. And uh, let, uh, let me bring up the, the compute console. So we saw instances spinning up a virtual machine, a dedicated virtual machine host, uh, a bare metal machine. We did see dedicated virtual machine host uh, and other 
pieces we still haven't gone and taken a look right so first thing i'm going to do is i have an instance running here i'll let me create an instance right and i'll create this uh, at the basis uh, th i'll use this as the basis for my uh, auto scaling right so i would say let's call this auto scaling let me just auto scaling i'll use oracle linux 7.7 .7 is fine it's a multi ad region 81 is okay um, one core machine is fine uh, where do I spin up? We have been using this demo VCN um, network and this subnet A, the public subnet, that's fine. I assign a public IP address. Right here, I could do custom boot and, and all that. I'm probably just going to skip it. Uh, right here, it asks me to pick up the SSH keys. Let me just get my SSH keys here. I'll provide my SSH keys here and below here you can see some advanced uh, options right I can choose my fault domain etc etc in this example I'm going to use a um, cloud init script and I'll let me just paste the script here it's a really simple script it's saying bin bash meaning a self script is, is is coming in the next couple of lines uh, and I'm installing this utility called stress and then I'm running the stress utility uh, spawning 20 threads with a timeout of uh, seven minutes uh, and what this is doing is it's generating some load for my compute instances so I could show um, scaling in action. So I would click create and uh, this would create my, my instance, right? Take 15 seconds or so and my instance would be created. As my instance is created, I would be able to create my instance configuration. So as that is happening, let me just create my instance configuration and it gives me a name. I would just say this is my auto scaling instance configuration and I would create my instance configuration even though my instance itself is still in the process of getting uh, configured right so once my instance is uh, is configured uh, configuration is done I could create an instance pool here so I already had a couple of pools which I was using earlier uh, but I could come here and I could create a pool of my instance right it says how many instances do I want in a pool? Let me just start with a very simple number. I'd start with one. Uh, and then it says pick an instance configuration. So this is the inf instance configuration we just picked, we just created. Uh, and right here, I can choose my VCN. Uh, I can choose my my subnet. Uh, and I could choose my AD, etc. right? I could attach a load balancer. So you can see, uh, you know, I could choose an, I could have chosen a bigger number here as well. So this is just telling me that I'm creating a configuration, I'm using a pool based on this configuration where the VM is one core, 15 gigram, boot volume is this, uh, and then I'm spinning up this in, in this particular uh, virtual cloud network, right? So pretty straightforward. So I create my instance pool. Now, we created an instance, we created an instance configuration, and we are creating an instance pool, right? It's pretty straightforward. Now, the last thing for us to do is to create an auto scaling configuration here, right? So if I click on auto scaling configuration, I would come here and right now I could, you could see that my pool is appears here, even though it's in the process of getting created. So let's look at a couple of things here, right? So first thing is it provides a name. I'm okay with that. It gives me a cool down period. This is the minimum period of time between scaling actions, whether you are scaling out or scaling in. So it's a good idea right now. It's five minutes. You could change it to a lower number the downside is if you do that uh, you don't want too fast scale out or scale in uh, so you want to have like a minimum period uh, before you sc either scale out or scale in now depending on your use case you might change that but it's a good idea to not do frequent scale in or scale out right so i'll keep it 300 uh, it already picked my auto scale uh, my 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 instance pool so it did that and then right here, it says, what is my policy? So like I said, today we support CPU and memory. And the only policy we support is the threshold. So it says, okay, how do we scale? The minimum number of instance is one. Maximum number of instances, I could say something like three, uh, starting with one. And what is the scaling rule? As I said, you know, to, today we only support threshold. So if my CPU utilization goes beyond 50%, I want to add one. So first time it goes beyond 50%, it adds one. 
it again goes beyond 50 seconds after five minutes it will add one more right to the maximum three if my cpu falls below below 40 percent i want to remove one instance and of course there is a cool down period of five minutes so it would happen over this period of five minutes right uh, so it would go down from three to two again after five minutes if it's less than 40 it would go down to one it will remain at one so keep in mind minimum is one initial is one so we start with one the maximum is three right uh, and this is it uh, i can just create my uh, auto scaling here now what you would see is if i go back to my instance first thing you would see here is my pool getting created right so you can see that my pool is is getting created right so this this is my instance which i used to spin up this uh, you know this this pool and you could terminate this instance it's fine it's just used to create the template if i click on this instance first thing you would see here is of course you know we did the public ip and it's launching in subnet a which is a public subnet etc uh, you would see here that uh, this instance has if you click on matrix you can see that the matrix uh, i can see my cpu uh, utilization is something around 66 percent right so it's definitely breaching the threshold of 50 percent uh, i can ssh into this instance And if I run a command like top, I can see the stress commands we ran, right? Uh, you can see here um, the, the various stress commands. Remember when we, we had a startup script where we gave the stress command with a timeout of seven minutes uh, to spawn threads on this machine. So if I just do control C here and do something like IOSTAT minus CPU, you can see that the CPU utilization is 83%, right? And if I go back to my refresh this page go to my matrix you can see here it's actually more than 83 percent is going to 98 percent right now right so this what it would mean is if it stays like this for five minutes this would trigger an auto scaling action meaning you would see one more instance uh, get spun up because of this behavior other way to look at it is if i go back to my go to my monitoring tab and i click on service matrix you can see the 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 matrix for various uh, uh, resources running here right so if i go into my matrix explorer i could actually run a custom query here so i would say compartment is training i want to look at my um, my compute agent and CPU utilization is my metric. Interval is a minute. Mean is fine. Right here, I can choose my dimension. So I'm going to choose instance pool ID. And right here, I'll have to go back and take a look at my pools uh, because a couple of them are from the old I was running. Fully, this is the one. Let's see if it gives me data. No data for this time range. Maybe this is the one. So if I update this chart, you can see right here that my uh, my pool is uh, running and if you can see here there's an orange and a blue line so it looks like i have spun up another instance and the way i can say that is you can see the initial starts with i and st meaning my auto scaling triggered in and i was able to uh, i i was actually able to uh, to uh, spin up a couple of more instances because it's constantly you know staying beyond 50 uh, percent so if i go back to my compute instance it still hasn't uh, it hasn't spun up uh, but in in couple of minutes you would see a uh, couple more instances spin up here uh, because of the auto scaling uh, action as we saw that in the in as we saw that in the, uh, the the matrix explorer so let me just pause the video here wait a couple of minutes and then i can show you a uh, couple of more instances getting spun up 
uh, because of the auto scaling uh, going on and uh, we pause the video for uh, for uh, uh, for a minute or so and as you can see here this is my original instance which was running as part of the pool you can see that uh, another instance is getting provisioned it's been less than five minutes so you can see that another instance is getting provisioned uh, again because uh, my load is more than 50 percent the cpu utilization because of all the 20 threads i spawned uh, and so that's the reason why i'm spinning up another instance and if, if you can see the difference between the time interval 842 and 8 you know 849 roughly you know five minutes difference uh, that's the cooldown period we had uh, means that this, that's a time period between scaling action scale in or scale out and this instance is is uh, running here, the you know, matrix is still still not available, just getting provision. But hopefully you can see that the scaling action, uh, we went from one instance to two instances uh, because the CPU utilization was greater than 50. If it stays beyond 50 for another five minutes, I will have three instances and then I'll stop there because that's the maximum uh, I set up in my policy. If I bring up my policy here and click on this, you can see that uh, it's the CPU utilization, the scale out rule says greater than 50% add one instance. If it falls below 40%, you would see that we would go from two to one instance and the maximum we could go to three. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of instance configuration where you templatize instance pool, where you create a pool and you manage these instances as, as one. Uh, and then that also forms the basis of instance auto scaling uh, where you can um, write a policy threshold policy today on CPU and memory and you could scale out or scale in uh, depending on your uh, load. So thank you for watching this uh, module uh, on instance pool, uh, instance configuration and auto scaling. Uh, if you have time, join the next lecture where we talk about some other uh, features of the compute service. Thank you.